Well, tonight, state police are investigating a death threat against Detroit State Rep Cynthia Johnson. Johnson says the threat was laced with racist and misogynistic language. Victor Williams spoke with her today. Uh, Victor, I think a lot of people know this is not the first time she's had to deal with a threat. Devin and Kimberly, that is correct. This is all too familiar territory for Representative Cynthia Green, who had to deal with this type of harassment last year. But the only thing is, in this case, the threats that were left on her phone, along with other death threats, are 10 times as offensive. I'm not a violent person, but I think I could slit your throat in a minute. We should have never got you out of this cotton field, damn it. I was on my way to work, to Lansing, and uh, I was listening to messages and that was one that I heard and I had to literally pull to the side because it, it jarred me. State Representative Cynthia Johnson says it was the last thing she was expecting to hear when checking her voicemail, an extremely racist and violent rant coming from a complete stranger. You belong in the jungles, hanging from the trees. Too bad they didn't hang your grandmother back when we could, huh? then we wouldn't be having this conversation. The message lasts over three minutes as the person on the other end of the line appears to have a genuine hate for African-American women. Some people just don't like smart black people. How about that? They just don't, and they will try to keep you in your place. You thought you'd threaten us? Well, we don't threaten. We're gonna kill you. We got long range shooters. You might be going grocery. Boom, dead. That's where we're gonna play this game. The representative, however, believes the message may stem from comments she made herself against certain Trump supporters that were harassing her in the past, resulting in her being censured late last year. I believe that this is from that point, and I'm sure it is. And Maxine Waters was another politician whose name was dropped, and that message, it was so bad that we, of course, cannot play what was said on air. For now, we are reporting live. Victor Williams, Local 4, back to you. Uh, Victor, I'm wondering if this is enough for state police to try to, uh, you know, beef up security at the Capitol or things like that of that nature. Yes, that's right. They are going to be beefing up security in a variety of ways. MSP, they actually sent us this statement, which reads, due to an increase in threats against elected officials nationally and in Michigan, we have had an increased visible and non-visible security presence at the Capitol since mid-January. We continually reassess security protocols and make adjustments as needed to continue to ensure the safety of our ele elected legislators and those who work at and visit the Capitol. We take these threats very seriously. We'll keep following it. All right, now, Victor Williams reporting live. All right, Victor.